everyone it's your girl Zuli Zoo and I am back yes I am back you guys and today we're going to be sipping tea it's a new little thing that I want to do you guys tell me how you feel about it if it's uh if it's like a yay or a nay if i should keep this as a content i will be doing pranks and challenges and and other stuff you know other interesting stuff but this one was something that popped in my, my head and i was like i want to do something different you get what i'm saying i don't want to keep doing the same thing that everybody else is doing so i decided to do sipping with sipping tea with me and basically i'm gonna go ahead and go on the most famous blog which is the shade room and i'm going to basically get some um tea their newest tea and we're gonna talk about it we're gonna have fun we're gonna talk about it i'm gonna give you my opinion hopefully you guys can comment down and give me your opinion of how you feel as well about the situation and i'm also gonna read some comments and just have fun and you know girl talk or boy talk whatever <laughs> but this my channel's for everybody boys and girls okay so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do right now i do not want to talk too much but i do want to let you guys know if you do like what you see please hit that subscribe button like share comment um hit the notification button so you won't miss out on any of the sipping teas with me we're gonna have fun i i'm supposed to have my tea cup with me but that's going to be for another time, okay? When something popping is happening. So I'm going to go ahead and dig up some tea on the shade room and we're going to talk. We're going to talk and you're going to hear my opinion. Hey. <laughs> Alright, I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, you guys. So here's one tea um, that I found interesting and, you know, a little light, nothing heavy. And it's basically Nicki Minaj. I know she got a lot of fans. So I said, why not? You know? So the shade room posted. I'm going to go ahead and um put it down. Well, have a picture of what I'm talking about. So you guys can go to the shade room and, you know, see what I'm talking about. But right now, it's between me and you. Okay, so in this um post, the shade room posted um a Nicki Minaj tweet saying, Queen know your worth i've been proposed to three times asked by four boyfriends to have their kids being emotionally emotionally mentally or physically abused just to crack a fake smile on the gram and show off a ring is not happiness being cheated on humiliated belittled for the gram and then she says another one there's another post this one was posted 5-26-18 at 2.33 p.m. And this one is another one saying, Hashtag queen. Know your worth. You were a queen before him. You'll be a queen after him. He can't make or break you. Being equally yoked is what you should strive for. Spiritually is key. Once your spirit can soar on its own, then you are ready to allow him the privilege of your time. And that was posted the same day at 2 38 p.m so the shade room says Nicki Minaj is spilling the, a little tea on Twitter today um what do you guys think about that tweet that Nicki Minaj went ahead and tweeted is she going through something with someone I'm not familiar if I know who she's with so far I'm hearing that she's with Eminem possibly I'm not sure because I don't stay up to date all the time because I'm busy, of course. But I, I heard that she's 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 kind of into something with Eminem, which is very... I'm so happy because they're both iconic. Literally iconic. That's like a perfect match that no one would ever expect. You get what I'm saying? So that's like perfect. But, I mean, if it is true. But who is she talking about? Like, who do you guys think she's talking about? Let's read some comments and see what other people assume or thought that um what nikki was going through at the time let's read some comments you guys this is so interesting i like to i like to read what people think about stuff all right so we have farah gray underscore ladies don't settle for the at least men at least i have a man at least he has a job at least he dot 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 <laughs> i like that i like that look for the most not the least that is true oh my gosh like a lot of a lot of you guys like 
y'all settle for less y'all settle for less you guys have your standards here i've always i've learned that from actually a guy i always when i was young always used to have my standards up to here i always and it was hard i guess because it's hard it's hard to find somebody that you want that's meet that meets your standards so a lot of people were telling me friends and just people were just saying oh you need to drop your standards which i did i ended up dropping it and i ended up meeting douchebags and and people that's like not even worth my time and i was like what and a friend of mine, a guy friend of mine was like, listen, you're never supposed to lower your standards no matter what. God has something planned for you and you just don't ever lower your standards no matter what. Always keep a high standard. Don't settle for nothing. Don't settle for less. Don't try to compromise with nobody because if that person can't meet your standards, then that person ain't meant for you. Period. But that was cool. I, I like that comment or whatever. Um... Nicki Minaj is just letting, I'm assuming, because I don't think she's talking about anybody. I wouldn't think so. But I'm just, think, I think she's just, you know, throwing out some, like, some cute um, messages to all her fans and all her um, supporters. Letting them know, like, you guys, like, it's a lot of effing niggas out here that just ain't shit. And don't, and there's a lot of females that actually settle for them. And basically she's letting you guys know no don't do that like you are a queen that's what she's basically saying you are a queen and you deserve more than least what well, well, that's what the guy said he got like 255 replies from that one because that's real true oh my gosh that was amazing i'm gonna read a few of it not all of it and it says um let's see what some of them say at Farrah Gray underscore. This person responded to what Farrah Gray said. How she gonna abort her baby, make song about it, and act like she the high queen when someone chooses to keep their child? Let that hurt go. Pro-life. I don't even know what they're talking about, you guys. If you guys know what they're talking about, let me know. What else we have here? At Farrah Gray underscore. Of course, comment from a pretentious guy. So many like you on the internet. When you feel the need to tell people you're a millionaire, rich folks don't have to say anything. What are these people saying? This guy said something at least that was cool, and I don't understand what they're they're saying. Um, you have sixty six 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 plus Queen Barty in your profile. You can't be trusted, sis. This person is responding to the person that wrote to Farrah Gray underscore. Well, anyways, I don't see anything hype over here. Oh, okay. Here's this one. A rant something official, which is verified. So that must be a celebrity. Says, thank you, queen. Okay, you guys. So another comment from D.Isabel underscore L. Just can't believe how many women are under... The comments bashing Nicki Minaj for inspiring women to know their worth and not marry just for the sake of being married. Y'all are missing the point and it is just so embarrassing at this point. Shaking my head. So that means a lot of people are bashing her. So a lot of people don't, don't agree to what she said. I mean, I don't understand why. I'm, I mean, she's really giving you everyone like a, like a girl's power, like a sense of you know worth. I don't understand why people is taking that different everyone has their opinion um this ta tony that dad tigger any anyone else scrolling through the comments thinking let me see how these motherfuckers take this now and liking the comments that you agree with yep which i do love the first one farrah gray underscore i'ma like you right here because you know what the hell you talking about and let me read this thing again queen you know your worth I've been proposed to three times as by four boyfriends to have their child. Being emotionally, mentally, and physically abused just to crack a fake smile on the gram and show off a ring is not happiness. Being cheated on, humiliated, belittled for the gram. Queen, you know your worth. You were a queen before him. You'll be a queen after him. He, may, he can't make or break you. Being equally yoked is what you should strive for. Spiritually is key. Once your spirit can soar on its own, then you are ready to allow him the privilege of your time. 
So I don't see nothing wrong with what she said, but let me know what you guys think. Do you think that she was aiming towards somebody or that she she said it she the way she said it was wrong because that's what i'm getting at, at the comments that the way she said it was wrong or was was um was rude like i'm getting it as like insulting but i don't think that none of that was the case but let me know what you guys think moving on along to the next tea well i guess um chloe kardashian mommy's little love Aw, uh, looks like Khloe Kardashian is enduring her Saturday with baby True. She, I, I mean, this is the first picture I'm seeing of the baby. Very adorable. Very cute. I'm so proud of her. Um, moving along. Okay, here's one. Morgan Freeman says his remarks were misplaced. Compliments or humor, not sexual harassment. Hmm, let's see what that says. So let's go ahead and read what um, The Shade Room has um, posted. Okay. Morgan Freeman is speaking out again against the sexual harassment allegations that came forward this week. In his second apology, the actor said his actions were all just complimentary humor, not assault. I am devastated that 80 years of my life is at risk of being undetermined in the blink of an eye. By Thursday's media reports, he said in a statement, all victims of assault and harassment deserve to be heard. And we need to listen to them. But it is not right to equate horrific incidents of sexual assault with misplaced compliment of humor. Basically saying it's not right to confuse the two. I admit that I am someone who feels a need to try to make women or men feel appreciated and at, and at ease around me. As a part of that, I would often try to joke with and compliment women in what I thought was a lighthearted and humorous way, he continued. Clearly, I was not always coming across the way I intended, and that is why I apologize Thursday and will continue to apologize to anyone I might have upset, however intentionally, unintentionally. My bad. Tongue twisting. He added, I also want to be clear. I did not create unsafe work environments. I did not assault women. I did not offer, a, uh, I did not offer employment or adv advancement in exchange for sex. Any suggestions that I did is completely false. And it goes on and on and on. So my opinion towards all of this is at the end of the day, I'm, I'm, I'm for, okay, if you did something wrong that is not of the law and you, you basically um, disobeyed the law or didn't do what you were supposed to do with a criminal act, you deserve to be punished. At all means, you deserve but when it comes to a situation like this where he is 80 years old, he's old, he's supposed to be enjoying his life, but he's going through this. And why it took him all these years to, because let me remind you guys, he was found guilty of these things. But I'm trying to understand because I could have sworn I seen on some type of law book or I've learned or someone told me that like long time ago that if a crime was committed a long long time ago and no one ever reported it you cannot report it again because it's been over year like it's probably been over 12 years like why are you reporting this now and he's old it's like what are you getting out of this I mean if you did if you didn't you know come up when it happened why are you coming now like what are what it, it makes it fishy. It makes it like seem like, okay, something's wrong. Because out of nowhere, you want to come now and, and, and now speak up. I understand, yes, you deserve to be heard and you deserve to speak up. But the time frame of it all is not something that I, I really like sit well with me. Because this man is 80 years old. He's worked his whole life you know i love Mar uh, morgan freeman one of one of his um movie one of my favorite movies of him was london has fallen let me know you guys what were your favorite movies of morgan freeman but anyways i don't want to say i don't think because i never i don't want to put in anything past anyone but come on now that's fishy you guys that is so fishy like Really? And then the fact that they found him guilty and that they're trying to sentence him 
in prison for X amount of years that he don't even have. He's 80 years old. He's bound to die soon, eventually. Like, come on, you guys. It's not that serious. Like, they make it where it doesn't even make sense because this man is 80. If anything, don't put him in a prison. I, that's the oh, that's what I, my argument is on. Him being 80 years old and going to prison for, for, for him allegedly doing having sexual um, harassment um, against him, basically, whatever. I don't think he should be going to prison for that, especially at the age that he is. I'm not using that as an excuse. I just, I just feel as if he doesn't. He, he. If anything, put him in the institution where he can relax for the rest of his life, like the rest, the left, the years he has left to live. You get what I'm saying? Not in a prison where the last, like this man, work hard, like for us to entertain us, and this is how we repay him. You get what I'm saying? Not I'm not, and I don't want you guys to bash me and say that I'm using an excuse because I'm not. I'm not using an excuse for him. It's just is logic. It's common sense. Like, okay, if he did it, it's wrong, and I know it's wrong, and he should be punished for it, but not at that extent because we all know he's 80 years old. Like, come on now, it'll be it'll hurt his family. It'll even hurt us, even though he, we know he did it for him to have died in prison. Like, that's not right. I just don't feel that's right. I'm just that type of night. I'm a nice person. But y'all tell me what y'all feel about it in the comments below. I'm gonna go ahead and start reading the comments because I don't want to talk too much because I, I, I talk for hours. You get what I'm saying? So, I don't want to do that. So, I'm gonna go ahead and read some comments and see what people, other people thought about him. Okay, so we have Maximin underscore Eva. We know Morgan, that sour cream bitch, just trying to make a name for herself. You see? I mean, I, no, I ain't saying nothing. I ain't saying nothing. Let's read what some people said about this person. Um, Elliot Gula said, um, at Maxima underscore Eva, basically responded to that, the one I just read. Accusations like this make it harder for the many for the many women with legit cases out here. So so far, people are just saying, you know, she like, cause a lot of females do that. They make these accusa accusa accusations, and it's not true. And they mess, they ruin people's life when they do that. And that's what they don't understand. You're ruining this man's life, his family's life, like. What are you getting out of it? That's why I want to understand. If something happened years ago, you apparently you've dealt with it if it took you that long. And that's how I feel. I'm sorry. That's just how I feel. Because if I'm going through a situation like that and I've been depressed and I've been, you know, going through a lot, I will go to any authorities. I would say, speak up. I will come up at the time, not after years and years and years past. Now you want to come up. It doesn't make sense to me. It just don't make sense. Okay, so we have another person um, called Miss Mystica Fairy. I saw a few of the clips and they were in no way assault. People are taking this too far and the movement is now losing its legitimacy. There's a video? Oh, shoot. Y'all comment me. Shh. Comment me this video. I need to go look for this video. I didn't know there was a video. Okay. Oh, wow. There's videos too? I would need to say. I'll be the judge of that. And this person responded to Mystica Ferry. Her name is Alinda, Alinda Deli underscore Lisa. Definitely losing its purpose. I stand for woman. I am a feminist, but not every incident has me shaken. Basically saying like, I understand female. I'm a female myself. Like, I understand if someone's going through something and they're coming up forward. But it's so many spiteful ones out there in this world now that you can't even trust anyone you can't and that's why they are messing it up for other people that's actually going through these type of situations and people not taking them serious okay oh we got this underscore slim curvy leave our black men alone leave our black men alone <laughs> Oh, so that's why they call mayonnaise because it was a white woman. You see, I'm just not understanding these things, you guys. Like, this is crazy. Oh, my gosh. This is crazy. This is why I read the comments. The comments always help you out. If you're reading a blog and you're reading tea and you still don't understand, just read the comments. You'll find everything you need to find. I don't understand that because these accusations will get you 
in trouble. Yeah, so y'all better stay away and be careful and watch what y'all doing. Make sure y'all always on point because any little thing, a bitch will go and make some fucking false accusation and you'll be crying. You'll be the one crying. But I don't want to talk too much. It's a lot of comments that I wish I could go for, but I'm not going to continue because... For the sake of time, I don't want it to be long. It's just a little thing that we, you know, we're just having a conversation. He read, you know, you listening to my opinion. I'm reading uh, people's opinion, and then you guys comment your opinion. It's just like a a little dialogue, little thing. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Let me know how you feel about it. Um, please subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, share, and I will see you on my next video. Bye.